Okay guys, I've really got to show you something. This is really funny. This is what happens when we go to, uh, go to the wood. Why is it Bob? What's in there? What is it? What is it? Is there a bunny? So, Bob thinks there is a bunny in there. Even though it's really short is the pipe. But you never know. There could be a bunny rabbit. So we're actually in our little wood. Uh, we have a little wood in North Yorkshire Dales. And uh, it's a place where we can get away from everything. There's no signal for your phone. We don't bring laptops. We literally bring books. So uh, this is where these little beauties come in. So um, it's really good. So there's a couple of things. One, actually before I go on, I look a bit knackered today, but that's because we did the Yorkshire Warrior this morning. So it was 10K with lots of obstacles. So uh, it was great, except from the water, it was really, really cold. <laughs> Anyways, uh, two uh, book recommendations. This little beauty here, um, it's the Innovator's Guide. Uh, Ted Knack actually recommended it for me um, from Topodot, um, which what's really quite good about this book is, uh, there's so far what I'm reading about it, there's a little section in here about uh, big companies trying to grow. And when you're a big, big company, small little niche markets actually doesn't give it justification. So, uh, yeah, so this talks about it. Uh, so if you're a small, medium-sized business, a niche little market is actually a really good one for you to go into because the bigger players are less likely to actually go in. So this is quite good. Um, so I'm going to read a little bit more about that and, and let you know. So I started to read this when I was snowboarding the other week. The other book that I recommend is this book, um, which is absolutely fabulous, especially for technical B2B companies. So this would be a really good one for any manufacturer or reseller of technical equipment, any type of survey equipment that you're selling. Um, and what's really good about this is it talks about the different levels. Um, now, if, the, if it focuses in, you'll be able to see this. Um, but it talks about everything from being a thought leader. You've heard about thought leadership and you know actually being different and being specific to your particulars you know things that you're good at within your organization that are different to your competition um, but it goes on to uh, talk about uh, commercial insight and a commercial insight is that nugget that there's no way your comp competitors could actually um, copy you so uh, definitely highly recommend it so these are the two books Morning from us two. I started work early and got loads of stuff done in the mornings. In the morning, mainly stuff uh, for Topodot, and um, because we have the Tuck user conference coming up, I'll be flying a week today um, to the states to finish off prep. I need to start my talk today about internal communications, breaking down silos in Department of Transportations or government organisations. Um, so that's the big thing. Poor Hannah was texting me yesterday uh, with the vlog, so she's uploaded all the other vlogs onto the website. Um, and uh, I need to sit down and do a content planner for the next six months of the key things that we need to get across to you guys. Pitching ideas for mainly uh, for, well, t two markets. The, the surveyors generally, and also then manufacturers, so managers and marketing managers within manufacturing or distributorship. Um, so that'll be the key thing. As you know, something big is happening with the Get Kids Into Survey. The NSPS in America are going to distribute the Get Kids Into Survey posters for me. So thanks to Tim and his brilliant team of people um, for agreeing to do this and coming to me with this idea. Um, I think it's absolutely brilliant. It will cut down on the time that it's taken me to send these posters out. Um, so we're going to be printing uh, 3,000 posters for the UK, well actually for outside of the world market should I say, and then Tim's going to be producing um, and Trish and team are going to be producing uh, a load of posters for the state side. 
uh, so that'll cover also Canada so all you guys so we're gonna when we set the form up which is gonna be hopefully finished by the end of this week um, from the Orange Crush guys uh, we will be able to um, have that set up for you so it's going to be nice and easy for distribution so as I said before the money that we get from it um, will go back into the posters we've got a load of t-shirts and stuff and bits and pieces that we're going to come up with so we're gonna have a bit of a shop going on oh and also here's a quick here is a quick glimpse of the poster did you miss it? Here it is again. Did you miss it? Ah, I'm not going to give away too much just yet. So uh, that is coming out in May. So we will be launched at the Tuck Conference, um, but we won't be taking any uh, inquiries until that forms up. So uh, yeah, I'll keep posted. Take care for now. Bye.